Oh, hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity. I'm just, uh, chilling here live on a nondescript streaming platform, just playing some Fortnite. Oh, damn it. I died to a mech. Again. Fuck. Oh, well, I guess I should better just switch my scene and catch up on chat. Ugh, that transition was fucking awful. Man, I wish I could have a nice stinger transition like Ninja and the bigger streamers. Oh, wait! Why don't it just use Bravity M? Awesome, fantastic, spectacular, totally free stinger transition template pack. That is a fantastic idea. I can make a simple stinger transition that looks like this, or another simple one like this, or a lighthearted one like this, or even a dark Dr. Disrespect style like this. Holy crap, that's a fantastic idea. And it's totally free at youtube.com forward slash gravity M. I'm gonna go get it right now. <laughs> go check out my new stinger transition template pack guys at youtube.com forward slash gravity M. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today we're taking a look at my brand new free Stinger Transition template pack. You can download it in the link down in the description. And as you saw in the trailer in the beginning of the video, you can make four different Stinger Transitions using this template. And today we're gonna look through After Effects and I'm gonna show you how you edit the template to get each transition. So this video is gonna be fairly short because the template is super easy to use. There's not much going on. So once you get the file downloaded onto your computer, get it unzipped, and extract it out onto your PC, open it up, and you're gonna be greeted with a screen that looks like this. And if you look over in your project window, you see you've got box transition, dark transition, simple transition, and star transition. You can ignore the solids and the fake logo and all that. But if we start with the simple transition, that is this one right here. So you're gonna see with each one, you've got simple final render, simple colors, simple your logo here. Each one will have a final render, a colors, and your logo here, and they're all labeled with the type of transition at the beginning. So this is the simple one, looks like this. But then if we go over to the dark transition folder, you'll see we've got the dark final render. If we open up dark final render, you see we've got the final render for this one here, the dark Dr. Disrespect looking one. So each one is labeled so you know which one you're working on. But for simple transition, here's what you look at. You've got the final render, you've got simple colors, and simple your logo here. So you're gonna open up simple your logo here. You can either hide this logo or just delete it. And then you can bring in your own logo and then rescale it to size. Just fit it right here, centered in this composition like that. And then you can head into simple colors and you see you've got color 1A, color 2A, color 2B, color 1B. These are all in a very specific order. So you might not wanna move them around. It could break the transition. But as you can see, we've got all these colors here. You've got th uh, two different colors, but four different places where colors could be. So if you wanna keep the two different colors, which I would recommend, you wanna change 1A and 1B to the same color, 2A and 2B to the same color. The way you do that is you click on them and go up to effects controls, and you see you've got your fill settings here. 2A is the red one, 2B is the red one, 1B is the blue one, 1A is the blue one. So you can see we can change this one to yellow, and then one uh, B can also go to the same yellow by using this eyedropper tool. And then we can change two B to like a, a green and then two A to the same green by using the eyedropper tool once again. And there you go, you've got your own colors in there. You can change whatever you want. And then when you're ready to render, just make sure you go back to the final render tab for each of these transitions. And you wanna render from here, you've got your in and out points set where they need to be already. If they're not, just make sure they're set at the beginning and the end of the transition. So if we play through it, Gonna be a little glitchy because it's rendering but as you can see you've got a new logo uh, stinger transition with your logo in there if you put it in and then your own colors but now moving on if we cancel out of all of these comps down here we can open up let's do the box transition so we're going to open up box final render box your logo here and box colors so here's the final render looking good beautiful and then once again, all the logo replacements are the exact same. If you get all your logo here, you'll see it looks the exact same. You hide it or delete it, bring in your own logo into this comp, fit it nice and centered. Then you can head into the colors and you see we've got color one here. Go to the effects, you've got the red one, so you can change that to green. And then you got color two, which is the gray one. You can change that to light blue. And now you've got this look going on here. And if we go back to final render, as you can see, the colors have live updated. And now you've got your brand new Stinger transition pack. I'm gonna go ahead and Command Z this a little bit to get it back to 
the old ones. And then once you're done putting in your logo and changing the colors in both of these tabs, you go back to final render, same thing with the in and out points and you render it out. Next, let's head over to the star transition pack. You see, you've got the same exact setup. Each one of these is identical. You guys should be able to figure this out on your own, but you open it up, you've got the final render here. So let's take a look at it. Beautiful. And then if we go to your logo here, you'll see it's the same exact comp as always. You can delete it, place your logo in there. If we go to colors here, you've got color one. Let's go to where all three colors are showing. There we go. We got color one, which is this blue. We can change it to green. We've got color two. We've got the pink. We can change it to blue. I don't know. We've got the blue, light blue color, color three, change it to orange. And look at that. We've got our, our colors updated here looking fantastic. Let's take it back. And then once again, render from the final render tab. And then you've got your transition. And then last but not least, we've got the dark dis Dr. Disrespect style transition here. So if we click on it, we've got dark colors, dark final render, dark your logo here. Once again, the your logo here, exact same style of composition. Put your logo in. For the colors, this is where things change a little bit. So we've got a really weird transition. It's not very geometric and whatnot. It's a very organic looking transition. So to change your colors, you're gonna click on this change colors um, layer right here and you're gonna go up to effects controls and you've got two little swatches here one controls the blacks you can see map black two and map white two so the blacks are this blue the whites are this red so if we change the blue to like a green you see it looks all crazy and if we change the reds or the whites to yellow you can get some really interesting looking stuff here so you've got both of these weird colors to change and if we go to final render you'll see it updated it to this new green and yellow look still got the sparks in there that are flying through um, but I'm gonna change it back because I think it looks really cool being dark and scary like that but that is pretty much it guys that is all for transition but when you guys are ready to render please keep in mind to make sure in and out points are set where they need to be one at the beginning one at the end of the transition make sure you are on the final render tab and you want to make sure you're selected here go up to composition add to render queue you can then click on lossless right here in this comp that just got added to your render queue. Click on lossless, you wanna change this from AVI to QuickTime. Then you wanna change the RGB to RGB plus alpha. The alpha channel just means it'll go over your footage. You'll have that transparent background so that the stinger will go over your footage. You won't have the black background. But QuickTime, RGB plus alpha, hit okay. Then if you click on dark final render here, this is where you're gonna be able to save wherever you wanna save any of your stuff. You can name it, whatever you want, wherever you wanna save it. Then you just hit render and you're done. But that is pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you guys do end up using my singer transition pack let me know on twitter send me what you make i really love when people send me their transitions that they made using my tutorials it's really awesome and i love seeing that i am helping people out with their uh, streams and whatnot but it is a really easy to use template if you guys run into any problems let me know down in the comments or dm me on twitter my twitter is at bravidm but i hope you guys enjoyed the video enjoy the stinger pack i'll see you in the next one peace out